Shalom, Shalom. Kahala, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Waraka, Kadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways. Teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Now, um, keep it short and sweet. I found this um, maybe a month ago or so. And I just literally spent 25 minutes trying to find it again. Like I couldn't remember where it is that I got it from. And the spirit's on me to bring it out um, to the Archeum. All right. Now, this is, we all know John 3.16, okay? And we know that if you read John 3.16 16 with context, meaning with understanding of the text that it came from, you would know that the world that God loves is Israel, okay? And that it was never meant to be an extension of the Lord's love towards all nations in the in that all nations of the seed of the other nations could be saved. We know that the world the Lord loves is Israel, okay? And the salvation is going out to the ends of the earth because Israel is scattered in the ends of the earth. And that there's, there's biblical um, basis for that, you know, belief. Right? Everything we believe, we could back it up in the law and the prophets, unlike the Christians. We've been telling you for years that Christianity, the core tenets of Christianity that they believe cannot be backed up by the law and the prophets, which makes it blasphemy. All right, because everything you teach should be able to be backed up by the law and the prophets, man. That's the context. That's the foundation. The things written aforetime are written for our learning. All right. He came in the volume of the book. It was written of him. All right. There should be no disagreement between the law and the prophets and the New Testament writings because one came from the other. But here we have it here. It says the Jew was ready enough to think of God as loving Israel. Now, why would they be ready to think such a thing? Because that's what's written in the scriptures. That's what the Lord revealed unto our, our forefathers. It says, but no passage appears to be cited. Let me read that again. No passage appears to be cited in any Jewish writer. In Sorry, in which any Jewish writer. So they're, they're not only including the prophets. They're including just any Jewish writer, period. <laughs> yeah, they're not even just talking about the law and the prophets. They said you cannot go into not only the law and the prophets, but any Jewish writings. And by Jewish, they mean writings from the Israelites, the ancient Israelites. You cannot find a piece of paper that they wrote on, whereby that it maintained, that writer maintained that God loved the world and in the context they're talking about meaning the other nations it is distinctively Christ, Christian idea should I say a it is a distinctively Christian idea that God's love is wide enough to embrace all mankind let me read that again I must needs read it to you again and understand when we tell you Christianity is not based Upon that which is written. That it's a dogma. Look up the meaning of the word dogma. That's what Christianity is. It's a dogma. They're just saying that's what it is. But they can't back it up with scripture. Whenever Paul or any. If you go into the actual New Testament writings. The New Testament writings are filled with uh, uh, verbal allusions. And direct quotes from the Old Testament. And the reason for that is. Is that everything they were teaching. Could be backed up. With with, with um, references. To the law and the prophets. Everything. Okay. It wasn't no freestyling going on. It wasn't no divergence from. That which was already brought forth. That was already prophesied. Has already been laid down. There isn't a battle between the new covenant, the new covenant writings, and the writings which existed in the old covenant. There is no battle. There is no uh, 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 contention or contradiction. Christianity is a contradiction because what it suggests does not exist. It never existed. Let me read it again. The Jew, the Israelite, was ready enough to think of God as loving Israel. But no passage appears to be cited. No passage appears to be cited in which any 
Jewish writer maintains that God loved the world. It is a distinctively Christian idea that God loves is wide enough to embrace all mankind. Right? This is this they know this. This is not it ain't listen, it's not in the scriptures, man. It's a Christian idea. There's no foundation for it. You ain't gonna find it in Isaiah. You ain't gonna find it mo, mo the, the, the 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 Genesis Moses. You ain't gonna find that is a completely new idea that they made up on the spot. And are disseminating it to you as if it's scripture. It's not scripture. It's against scripture. They've added on with their dogmatic uh, uh, <laughs> speech. All right. So I just wanted to draw that to your attention, man. All right. Everything we say, we back it up with the scriptures, man. That's how we that's how we roll. And that's why they oh, you guys are always going into the Old Testament. Yeah, so did Paul. Yeah, so did Peter. So did Yahweh Shai. They were constantly quoting and referencing referencing the old and new, uh, the, the Old Testament. All right. In fact, all you gotta do on the blue letter uh, have I got it? Is it on here? No, you gotta go to the website. You go to the website. There's actually a part. Let me hold up. Right. So if you go to the blue letters website, you go to menu and you go on the uh, study. Right. There's a part of it which says. Um, charts and outlines I believe Charts and outlines And then from there You can go to parallel passages In New Testament Quoted from the Old Testament And you can also go Quoted from the Old Testament In New Testament Alright And it will give you Click on that Parallel passages And it's going to give you the list This list contains only The direct Or indirect citations But also the allusions and you can go through it. It's a five part list. And it will show you. The majority. Because they don't even catch all of them. The majority. Look all the way through the scriptures. Constantly referring to. Alluding to. Uh, um, quoting the Old Testament. This is what we're talking about. Okay. And you can go check that out for yourself. So if that I'm going to say. Shalom.